Cause any trouble, buddy. I, I think you got the wrong guy here. We'll find out if we got the wrong guy. Just hold still. Yeah. I'm sure he's at Nikki's. You're in such a hurry. Why don't you give him a call there? Did I say I was in a hurry? No, you just look at your watch every three minutes. That was an hour ago. I'm checking every minute now. Ah, he says he'll be here. I figure he'll be here. No trouble with you, cops. You don't catch people till you catch them. Hence, the utter inability to understand that this some guy? people work on deadlines. Dad, you can take the cuffs off and I'll take it from here. Officer, if I could just explain to you what happened. Well, we were... Why don't we sit down first, then we can talk about it afterwards. Well, see, we were just... I was and, walking and... through the park and this man started to no, follow well, me. Well, what happened, she, she, she thought... Tell him the truth. I was just... Wait offering. a minute, wait, 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 wait a minute. First of all, why don't we sit down? Let's try and do that, okay? That's a chair for you. You can pull a chair, thanks, Tom. Uh, let's just try and calm down. Two women killed in one week. No one says how, no one says why. All of a sudden, every stranger is a killer. Every woman expects to be number three. Okay, why don't we start with your name? Mary Young. Uh, no, that's M-E-R-R-I. Maybe that's the angle. Not the killer, not his victims. What happens to the city? And yours? David A. Bailey, B-A-I-L-E-Y. A new fear, when there was enough to fear already. Still, we hold on to our habits. They're part of us. Uh, phone number? Mm -hmm. It's a 555. Whether it's the son of Sam or the hillside strangler, or this killer with no name. We walk in the parks, take rides from strangers, go parking with our lovers. Because we can't let the enemy dictate terms, change our lives. Because then we've lost already. Okay. Who wants to go first? Well, I, I think that the young lady better because I, uh, I really don't have anything to say. I was coming home from work. I cut through the park. I always cut through the park, and this man accosted me. Whoa, well, come on. I didn't accost anyone. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What do you mean he accosted you? He started walking right beside me. Did he say anything? Yeah, I offered to walk her through the park. You'll get your turn. Sorry. What did he say? Well, it's about right. He asked me if I wanted some company. Company? Yeah, that's what I said. And what did I say? What did you say? I said, um, just across the park. Uh, it's dark, and we seem to be going the same way. Uh, right? Right? Uh, I guess so. Thank you.
you go. Sorry. Look, we've only got a couple of days. If we don't make our minds up soon, we're not going to get reservations anywhere. I thought we already made up our minds. Kevin, this is a vacation. It's supposed to be fun. You make it sound like someone's sending you off to prison. I just don't want to be lying on a beach somewhere surrounded by 600 people who look like jam bone. A large part of the world is younger than us. I've adjusted to that. I'm not bordering on senility. I just want to go someplace nice and quiet where we can... Mm -hmm. Pitch a tent to live on coconuts. Oh, man. <laughs> it's going to be right with you. Well, we can swim and lie on the beach and make love. Mind your own business. <laughs> Look, why don't you take those home with you and read them over, and if you still don't like them, make reservations for wherever you would like. How in the hell am I supposed to make reservations? Oh, well, that's my job, is it? Thank you. <sighs> Wherever we go, I'm sure it'll be great. I gotta get out of here. I was supposed to meet with Tom half an hour ago. Look, don't go home by yourself. I'll pick you up at closing. Okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. I'll let them know. Tell them to give me a call. Yeah, we'll do. Do you want to just sign right there for me? Sure. Uh, I'm going to have to apologize. Um, it's just that with all these killings, it's very hard not to be frightened. I understand. Would you like me to get an officer to take you home? Oh, no, really. I, I'm okay. I think I've put you to enough trouble already today. Uh, I was going to take a cab. If you'd like to share a ride, I'd be happy to drop you. No. Thank you. It's okay. Well, we are going in the same direction, aren't we? Well, no, not Let's really. Let's not start all this again, because then you're going to start, she's going to start, we're going to go oh, crazy oh, oh, again. Oh, oh, sorry. I didn't mean to say anything. I didn't say anything. <laughs> I'm just... I'm going to go see a friend who lives in the neighborhood. Thanks, anyway. Goodbye. Thank you very much. I'm really sorry. Oh, well, that's fine. That's fine. Well, listen, I'm sorry that uh, I frightened you. I certainly didn't mean to frighten you in the park, you know. Sure. This is what happens uh, when you try to be nice to somebody, you end up in handcuffs. <laughs> A woman can feel very vulnerable in a situation like that. I know, I know. That's really why I wanted to walk with her in the first place. I'm just sorry it turned out like this. What's <laughs> 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 yeah, forgot my briefcase. Just, just left a few minutes yeah. ago. <laughs> Size note. No, I meant uh, just a little uh, backward step between the sexes. <laughs> well, thanks for being so understanding, Mr. Bailey. I'll tell you the truth. Um, I was kind of angling to get her to join me for dinner, and I think maybe I... Persisted? Well, persisted, anyway. <laughs> I keep a diary. This is going to be a very interesting page. Good night. <laughs> what do you got here? That's a new weapon. They're phasing out guns. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, are, are you planning a vacation? Why? By yourself or with someone. Now, I don't mean to pry, but I, I couldn't help seeing those brochures. Yeah. Well, this is very good if you're 23 and, and single. Now, I have something that I think will interest you a great deal more. This is my card. I'll uh, be in my office all day. Why? <laughs> Just so, so the evening shouldn't be a total loss, you know. <laughs> good night. O'Brien? Yeah. Holl Hollander. Ah. Headquarters, psychology. Uh, you wanted to see me. Yeah, you've been briefed on the homicide? Yeah, perfectly. What do you want to know? Well, anything you can tell us. The M.E. gave us some mumbo-jumbo about the wounds. It's not mumbo-jumbo at all. Both homicides were accomplished with an upward and then sideways thrust with a very sharp dagger. I'm sure you've noted the condition of the bodies. They were white as a sheet. It's a very efficient method of killing. Uh, the bodies drained of blood almost instantly. He also said something about it being Japanese, Harry Carey? Exactly. So we're looking for someone Japanese, is that the idea? Not necessarily. What about martial arts? It's possible. From a psychological point of view, I don't think so. How crazy is this guy? Clinically, legally, what are you talking no, about? No, I'm talking about crazy. Does he know what he's doing? Well, he knows what he's doing. Whatever else he does during the day, uh, he might be an investment banker, he could be a skid row bum. All of that's just marking time. Killing. That's what his life's about. You can't rule out martial arts, then, huh? I'm not ruling anything out. But multiple killers tend to be self-destructive. They're often just contemplating their own death. It's got a hell of a way to disguise it. Exactly. Harikari is not a martial art. It's the traditional Japanese method of suicide. Are you telling me this guy wants to kill himself, but instead he's killing other people? I could make it complicated in layman's
layman's terms, that's exactly what I'm telling you. Come on, lady, please. Give me a break. That's the way the guy looks. You shouldn't have married him, huh? Three bucks, please. Hey, it's inflation. What can I tell you? That's solid silver, so you hold on to that sucker, huh? Lady, can I get a picture here? Come on, for a button. Come on, give the guy a present. Get somebody's face on your chest. Oh, honey, you're beautiful. You gonna send somebody at home on a little button, huh? Come on, lady, a little no, picture, I don't want please. A button. Just stand there, I'll just take one shot. I, I don't swear want to God, it. please. Hey, thanks. There you go, huh? Three homicides. Might not be the same guy. I'd rather we had just one killer look for him. Hello, Doc. Am I going away, present? Yeah, no, too. Not very nice. I waited an hour. I bet this will screw up your vacation. Yeah, check it out, Frank. down here doing some business, that's all. Business? Yeah. Better do this an inch at a time. What kind of business? Like just taking some pictures. What do you got, Freddy? No ID, but uh, we might find a pocketbook out here somewhere. The almost same as the other two? Yeah, but take my word for it. You don't want to look. We found a lot of blood up there in the bridge. Guy must have knifed her up there and thrown her over. Amy says she had to be dead before she hit the ground. Okay, man, is this right, or what? If someone's off the girl, cut her in half or something? Will you let me ask the questions? She must have grabbed at him when she went over, because we found a swatch of plastic in her hand. Forensics guy says it's probably from one of those disposable raincoats. Obi? Obi? Yeah, here. It's that girl they brought in, Mary Young. The one, the one the guy was trying to pick up, the travel agent. Hey, O'Brien, I didn't see anything. I know you're not very smart, but I didn't know you had bad eyes. Look, O'Brien, all I saw was some chick heading down towards the park. Was she with someone? No, she was by herself. Hey, as a matter of fact, then I took a picture of her. All right. Is that her? Oh, yeah, that's her. Yeah, that's it. Go on. That's it, man. That's all I know. I mean, I, I heard a noise. That's how I remembered what that. What kind of noise? Some noise. It was like, uh... <clears throat> I mean, I looked around, and she was with some guy. What did he look like? Hey, I don't know. I was at the other end of the tunnel. Well, how'd you know it was her? Well, she's here, isn't she? I mean, how many girls have you found in the park tonight? And then what? He grabbed her? No, they were just walking. That's it. Just walking. Okay, okay. Freddie, do me a favor. Take this guy down to the station and hold him until we get there. Hey, come on. I'm allergic to police stations. You know that, O'Brien. Hey, I'm a good citizen. I've been trying to help you out. I didn't see anything. Mr. Bailey. All right, let's pay a call on this guy, see if he's as nice this time. Mm. Got a suspect? Something we got to check out. Open the door. What is it, yes? Turn around, put your hands against the wall. What? Turn you around, around, put well, your hands against the wall. What did I do now? What, what is this? All right. You mind telling me wh 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 why? The girl, Mary Young? Yeah? What about her? She was murdered in the park tonight. Oh, my God. She, you don't think that Get I... Get dressed, Mr. Bailey. We'd like you to come with us. Hey, honey, look. I'll tell you what. Because you're built the way you're built there, I'm going to give you this for a buck. Why would I want to wear a picture of myself? <laughs> I don't know. What do you want from me? Hey, you want a picture of this guy over here? I'll get you a picture of this guy. I don't want to argue with you, lady. I just want to make a buck here. Hey, excuse me, handsome. I get a shot here. 
Huh? There you go. Thank you. Huh? Here you go. Will you buy a picture so he'll shut up? Hey, you see, this guy makes perfect sense. Thank you, sir. Thank you. There you go. Oh, you want both of these? Fine. Here you go. All right. We're Kim, talking Kim, now. Timmy. Now. You. Not another word until you don't see me typing anymore. Hey, sounds pretty reasonable to me. Don't worry about it. Police, we'll be in with Dorothy. Hey, O'Brien, it's about time, Just man. Sit tight. Sit tight. You can develop problems sitting tight. You got a quarter? Huh? Uh, yeah. Keep an eye on him, Frankie. He's calling his lawyer. I don't know, Dorothy. Has he said anything? Well, he said he went right home. He wasn't dressed. His bed was slept in. Ted, uh, uh, this is Dave Bailey. Yeah, look, I'm really sorry to bother you, but uh, I'm in a little trouble here. Tried to pick her up, and then she's found dead. Not that I'm trying to play detective, but that's quite a bit of a coincidence, don't you think? That's why we brought him in. Keep you posted. Oh, sorry. Well, believe it or not, that's what I'm here for. So, look, I've got to go. Please get down here as soon as you can. Yeah, goodbye. All right, come on. Uh, he says I shouldn't say anything. You have the right to do that. I was hoping we could get it cleared up. Yeah, well, so was I. Look, why don't we start, and then if there's any difficulty... Okay, maybe... sure. Want a coffee? Yeah, black, please. Hey, Brian, hey, I love a coffee. Hey, relax. Come here and take a look. Is that the guy? You're supposed to be telling me. Right. I don't know, Brian. I don't know. I can't make it. I can't make it. Are you saying it's not him? No, I'm not saying nothing. Look, what I'm saying is there was a girl, there was a guy. Gee, I, that guy doesn't look dangerous to me. Maybe that's what she thought. Try to be as precise as you can. Exactly what did you do when you left here? I told you that already. I just went home. No one saw you? Oh, it must have been after midnight. Look, I understand how this happened. I mean, I, I did talk to her, but... But what? But I'm not the kind of person who goes around killing people. You know, I, 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 I talked to a girl in the park. You tried to pick her up. Didn't you tell us that? She was pretty, and, and she was alone, and I wouldn't mind a little company. That's it's normal, isn't it? It's normal if she makes it home. Hey, honey, thanks for the coffee, huh? Anytime you want to go to dog fights, give me a call, huh? Just wait a minute. You may want to ask a few more questions. Hey, come off it. He didn't say that. He didn't say he didn't. Oh, Sit. Hey, why don't you turn off the charm, huh? I'm, yes. uh... I was a friend of Mary Young's. I know who killed her. Would you like to come in, please? Tyler. He used to beat her. She'd come home with bruises all over her. All over. Is that why you think he killed her? He was terribly jealous. And he used to hurt her. Even if she just went to a movie with me. I kept telling her she had to stop seeing him. I begged her to stop. And then she did. Tuesday. She told him she wouldn't see him again. And now... Will Tyler work here? He ain't here now. When do you expect him? He uh, does kind of a fill-in schedule, I uh, couldn't say. Who's that guy? That's, uh, oh, that's a new guy I got helping out. Hey! Come over here! Wait a minute!
All right, Tyler. Six assaults on women. One of them was Mary Young. Right, and she dropped the charges. So did four of the others. My, we're a forgiving species. You can see where it gets us. Well, somebody made him do time? Four months. She was probably in the hospital longer. We're gonna have to hold him, you know. He'll skip in a minute. I can hold him for a while longer, but I'm gonna need some evidence. Oh, come on. He tried to open up my head with this. You couldn't wait for your vacation? <laughs> I thought we sent him home. It's not so easy as it sounds. Miss Toolman is interested in Mexico. Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> I didn't know uh, when you'd be back, so I was going to leave these for you. It's the brochures that you were interested in. I think I found exactly what you're looking for. Huh? Oh, thanks. I figured you'd want to be out of here as soon as you could. Oh, hey, I hold no grudges. <laughs> anyway, a sale is a sale. Sale? Yeah, well, I'm hoping that if you do change your travel plans, you'll give me a call. I'll look into it. Please, why don't you and Freddie go pick up our photographer friend? Let's see if you can identify him. Yeah. You know, if you're interested, I can tell you some places in Mexico that are really worth seeing. Now, maybe we should make an appointment. You can come down to the office. We'll talk. Huh? Well, that sounds very nice, Mr. Bailey, but uh, I work nights and I sleep all day. Well, you must be free sometimes. <laughs> How about lunch, huh? Hey, you got any information on dude ranches? You know, someplace up in the mountains with uh, fresh dude air, ranches. horseback riding? Dude ranches in the mountains. I got them on the mountains and the plains. And this guy see... could sell sheep in a cotton patch. I want to ask you something. This, mm -hmm. this guy here, is this, is this the guy that killed all those women? You write in book? Uh, Obi, let's go. Mr. Tyler, the time has come. telling me why you tried to put my brains up against the wall. Come on. I seen you coming. You'd have done the same thing. Yeah, why is that? You know damn well why, because I heard about Mary. I figured you cops would be That's a lot of crap, and you don't sound too upset about it. Look, I'm sorry she's dead. I ain't crying, though. For I walked out on me. You don't like that, do you? The way we hear it, you never much like it when women walk out on you. You any different. Look, sometimes I get drunk and I knock a lady about. I know you've got the sheet on me. That ain't killing no. You came pretty close to this Wanda. You put her in a hospital two years ago. Yeah, well, Wanda was messing me around. Whoa! Like Mary Young did? Wait a minute, you're mixing this all up. She walked out on me. I ain't chasing after her. Brides are a dime a dozen. When did she walk out? Last week. Tuesday? Yeah, all right, Tuesday. Her girlfriend told you that, huh? How long you know Dana Barnes? Who? Dana Barnes. Oh, no. No way. I've seen the papers. That's a brother got herself killed last week. Right, Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> See the lawyer. You ain't pinning this thing on me. 
She was a waitress. Where'd you eat Tuesday night? I said I want to see my lawyer. I ain't saying nothing. Dan, again, come on, you guys. Yeah, I'd like to know if you recognize any of these men. This one. Please, you guys. You know him? No, I don't know him, but he's been in here. Alone? Mm -mm, he was with a girl. Had a big fight, a lot of yelling, he slapped her. Don't you guys remember? It was Allison's section. Oh, she's not here tonight. Uh, is this the girl here? Oh, I'm not sure. I think so, though. I've... Would you hang on? I want to know exactly what happened. Look, I don't know what they were fighting about. So they called her a lot of names, he slapped her, and she walked out. Now, that served him right. I mean, really. Now, I... Oh, is that the girl that was killed last night? Did he follow her out? No, he stayed. He drank a lot. He was quiet, though. He didn't cause any more trouble. Now... Wait a minute. Uh, what time did he leave? I have to leave just before closing. I have a bus to catch. He was still here. Dana was still here. This was, I think it was Tuesday. Well, that's nice she was killed, isn't it? Now, don't misunderstand this question. If he tried to pick her up in the parking lot, would she have gone with him? Dana? Yeah, she'd have gone with him. I have to go, I'm sorry. All right, thanks. thanks. Man has some diabolical method of killing. Mm. What if I made it off the record? You still can't help me? If it's off the record, what good is it to you? Satisfies my morbid curiosity. Do you know how many years I've waited to hear that confession? Freedom of the press, the right to know. It all boils down to a sneaky old reporter's morbid curiosity. That's because my morbid curiosity represents the morbid curiosity of 12 million readers. Oh? <laughs> well, a couple of thousand anyway. <laughs> Who are you calling sneaky anyway? Never mind that. Who's he calling old? Which is precisely why we are flying off to a tropical paradise to get young. You want to come? Uh, nah, it wouldn't work. Besides, I've known him since infancy. Even then, he wasn't young. Well, you know, a policeman's lot is not a happy one. So you were a cop in infancy, were you? Born a cop, Nicky. Uh, I'll probably make three arrests on your vacation. Mm -hmm, he probably will. Unit 12 7 responding. Unit 12 7, meet your partner, Kensington and 29th. On my way. Tyler's gas station. I gotta go. Oh, here. Take a look at these. I'll pick you up later. All right. Bye. Hmm. Who's Tyler? Tyler who? The guy from the gas station. Uh, that's him. found it in there when they were dumping their load. I'm not covering for this kind of crap. All right, let's find out whose blood this is. That ought to clinch it. It's on my desk by this afternoon. Hey, Lieutenant, what's the story? Come on, fill us in, Jim. Hey, the uh, suspect's the name is uh, William James Tyler. He's age 34, and he's being charged with three counts of homicide. How did he kill him, Lieutenant? Well, they all died of knife wounds. That's all I can tell you right now. We heard the bodies were practically eviscerated. Well, I wouldn't print that. You're not going to get it confirmed here. Is that a denial? Look, that's hey, all I can tell you right now. Hey, the yeah. suspect's being arraigned. Anything hey, further, it has to come in the form of a hey, 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 Tyler! Tyler. Hey, Tyler. Tyler. Hey, Tyler. Nice work, aren't you? Thanks. How come you're not out there getting the news? Oh, he's not saying anything. Okay, okay. Just because I'm going away, I wouldn't want to leave you scrounging stories like everybody else. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm feeling properly humble and inadequate. Fire away. Off the record. Dealer's choice. He wore a plastic raincoat when she was killed. And she kept his clothes from getting covered with blood. I know that. What was the call at Nicky's about? We found the raincoat at the garage where he worked. How convenient. The blood matched the first victims. The second was a waitress. Another raincoat? 
The witness places him with her the night she was killed. And the third was an ex-girlfriend. Tell me the part I really want to know. Mm -hmm. How do we know it was the same guy? He used a sharp dagger. In, up, across. Hurry, hurry. Boom. Very bloody. That's why I needed the raincoat. Murder as a death wish. Sublimated suicide. Yeah, that's what the shrink said. You're unusually perceptive tonight. I wrote a whole thesis on the subject, you know. Brilliant perceptions of death and mortality. Huh. Unfortunately, that case was off the record, too. No, you can publish it when it goes to trial. What case? Miles and Money. It's in L.A. eight, nine years ago. Some uh, international monetary conference. I was covering the story. Some guy he killed four or five girls. Uh, and I don't remember. Did you catch him? Yeah. I would have printed it. It could be, couldn't it? O'Brien, major case. I'd like to run a check on a homicide M.O. Yeah. Serial murderers, they got a nationwide clearinghouse. I've forgotten all about it. We computerized our murderers. That's got to tell you something. Yeah. The victims are all single women. 20s to early 30s, all outside. A single knife wound up from the abdomen, laterally across the left breast. Frequency of the attacks? Uh, three in a week. Then they stopped? And then he was apprehended. Congratulations. Uh, something like this should have happened in L.A. Someone's memory is playing a trick on him. It's New Orleans, not L.A. Uh, November 23rd, 29th, 30th, 1982. New Orleans? Nah, never been in New Orleans. No, wait a minute. Here it is, Los Angeles. May 3rd, 7th, 8th, 9th, 75. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Vancouver. You want the dates? Yeah, go ahead. 1978, June 9th, two bodies found. June 10th, another. June 14th, another. June 16th, June 18th. How, how many is that? Uh, how many? 13. Uh, 13 and uh, three more here. Anything more? That's it. Okay, thanks. Here, leave that for me, and I can do that later. Dorothy, I'm just pulling pull on the bottom. Pull in down there, and He's I killed 13 know. other women. New Orleans, L.A., Vancouver, same uh, M.O., all unsolved. What? 75, 78, 82. Let me see that. This is amazing. What? June, 78. Kevin, he was in jail here for assault. That can't be. Unless he was in two places at the same time, we've got the wrong man. Kevin. No, it's, uh, it's not Kevin. Oh, the, uh, the bar's closed. I'm sorry. Uh, do, do I know you? Oh, so I'm David Bailey. I'm here to give you the itinerary for your trip. Ask me to give it to you. I don't believe it. You mean he actually went out and arranged all this? <laughs> he, oh. he said that you wouldn't believe it. I don't. Uh, I brought them by the station, but he was all tied up, so... Uh... So where are we going? Well, they arrested that man who killed all those women, you know. Yeah, I heard it on the radio. So he said he'd be very late, and uh, oh, I would yeah. be very happy to give you a ride home. No, no, that's all right. I can take a cab. No problem at all. He asked me to. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we'll see. We'll have a chance to talk, and I can explain to you about the trip. Um... Okay. Okay, I'll just get my bag. Thanks Good. very much. Right. okay. It's just starting. Oh! I, I guess he finished early. <laughs> I'll, I'll go in a minute. 
your itinerary. I, um, I was looking for you, and I couldn't find you, so I, uh, I brought it here. Uh, I've got to run. If there's any problems, you call me in the morning, okay? You are a lucky man. Huh. Kevin? You are unbelievable, you know that? Mm. You went and planned a whole new trip. Yeah, I just talked to him about it. What are you doing? It's beautiful, huh? Well, he had a raincoat on. He said it was raining. Stay here. Frank Jambone. How'd you do? This is uh, Tom Kirkwood, a newspaper reporter. He's been uh, quite helpful. Pleasure, Mr. Kirkwood. It was your article that called our attention to our uh, common problem. Oh, well, thank you. I'll try to keep out of your way. If you'll just step this way, can I take your back? We're fine. Let me fill you in. I wish there was more to tell, or less. It seems your Mr. Bailey has flown here to Toronto. Apparently, he struck up an acquaintance with a stewardess on the flight. Her body was found in a park near her hotel this morning. You sure it's him? down. Uh, your article, Mr. Kirkwood, suggests that in the past there was a dormant period every time he moved. We weren't permitted that luxury. Our experts tell us he probably won't stop now until we stop him. Well, we're in your hands, Inspector. Just tell us what you need. You and your partner seem to be the only police officers who've had any contact with him. We're hoping you can help us find him. The airline crew has been held over in order to meet you. Perhaps he said something on the flight. Somebody might pick up on it. Yes, I remember him. Most of the other passengers were sleeping. He talked with Jenny. Jennifer Hodges, the young woman whose body was found in the park. Did he travel back to the hotel with you? We took the minibus. We checked straight into our rooms. It's the last time I saw her. Do you remember her making plans about Excuse meeting me. someone? Yeah. Obi? Go ahead. Uh, this guy you're looking for, he checked in last night. I think it's him. He came for a drink. Show this picture at the front desk. Find out what room he's in. Uh, was he alone? Uh, last night he was. Uh, he was in again this afternoon. He met a lady. How long ago? Oh, just an hour ago. Maybe a little Do more. Do you know where they went? Did they say anything? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, I think he, he took her for a drink. You don't remember anything else? I don't think so. Uh, wait a minute. I, is this guy an American? Yeah, why? Well, he said something strange. He said something about uh, showing her the States. Taking her to the States? No, 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 showing her. The tower. Huh? You can see Rochester from the tower. No, no, it's called White Heat with James Cagney. He says, top of the world and everything blows up. Oh, that's <laughs> glorious. Am I getting blown up? <laughs> no. <laughs> the movie. Oh, thank you. Take a walk, hmm? I thought you knew everything, David. We can see it all from here. It all comes around. Ah, uh, yeah, but once every 72 minutes, and we have better things to do with our evening, don't we? Mm, I think you're a very naughty man. Let's go. Come on. There it is, CN Tower. 
picking nuts and me, nuts and me, nuts and me. Here we go picking nuts and me on a cold and frosty morning. Mm -hmm. <gasps> <gasps> David, look! Look! Oh! Down. I'm fine. Why would you want to come here? Because that's what you do with your fears. You meet them. You toy with them. What else are you afraid of? to go. Daughter? Daughter? Give me your hand. Uh, 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 
there is a border between sanity and madness, and it's patrolled by a guard named Fear. Because somewhere in our brain of brains, somewhere below will and mind, lies a deep and unquenchable instinct for life. And fear is its voice, its measure. We fear death because life matters. It's that simple. Don't let them tell you it isn't. And I feel the night.